Hello sir, oh. how are you? I am quite fine. So sir, please introduce yourself. Yes, I am Dr. Sanjay Das. I am a neurologist. I am practicing in Bandwan. I do many practice. I am interested in some reconstructive neurology and like urethroplasty like that and the prostate. Okay, great. So sir, why did you opt for this specialization? Please share your professional journey till date. Till date? Yeah. You see, when I was in house staff, uh, my, my mentor, Dr. Aiken Ghos, he was at that time matured in, uh, in Medical College, Calcutta, you know. Seeing his operations, prostate, I was fond of that. And it, during that time, I, it was a long journey, you know, that was in the year 1976, like that. At that time, the subject was not very much developed. I think I, I thought that time this, this new type of this new section, the suspicionary section, I can work uh, well, I can get scope in it. That's why I came to this profession. So, sir, out of 10 patients, mm. like how many comes to you of the state, stool, cancer and others? Actually, I am, I am practicing and practicing in Badduan mainly. It is somewhat uh, 100 kilometers away from Calcutta. There we get stone, a number of stones much because they are probably they are laborers, they walk walks in the field, they walk in the uh, climate, the hot climate, that's why I get more. Second thing I get more about the prostate. Initially I get first number of patients I get in stone, then prostate I get it. Okay. So what are the key treatments we are see currently? What I'm doing well, the prostate I'm mainly doing the TRP, transverse section of prostate. Mainly I do this. If this prostate is big enough, I go in for open prostatectomy because the laser are not available there. I, I, I still prefer to do an open operation. Okay. So what are the major lifestyle issues you see in your patients? Lifestyle issue, since it, uh, it is in the, uh, actually away from the corporate area, that's why lifestyle patients, they are more, more, they are more of walkers. They do wa uh, walks, not in sedentary life. Okay, they walk in fields, they do uh, walk in offices. That's why they do their uh, work like that only. Um, uh, minimum sedentary life they are doing. That's the thing. All right. So how would you rate the advancements in medical science in India when compared to the West? The thing is that uh, seeing these conferences, I, I can tell you definitely India is one of the most prosperous, one of the most uh, advanced in the urology, in, in this technology, especially in your subspeciality. Sub, sub because we, I can tell you the name of the number of stalwarts, they are doing operations in the West. And the thing is that many comes from outside the West, they are coming to uh, India to learn this thing, especially in the prospect of uh, reconstructive urology. I can name the name of Sanjay Kulkarni is doing his best, he has you know, his innovative operations are there, still there, it is being taken into account and uh, many people are doing their operation in the West also. I think it's a uh, very, uh, we are prospering definitely in this, uh, in this uh, subspeciality field, especially in urology. Great, great. So last question, how do you see the future of Indian healthcare sectors? Uh, this is a big question. Uh, to me, it's a problem is the lies in the economic, you know. Still our, what I want to say, uh, still, like Mamta Banerjee, <laughs> I don't want to, he is trying his best to develop the healthcare system because uh, we are now getting many new gadgets. Uh, like you see, uh, we are now have lizards in the uh, government hospital and I'm not speaking about these corporate hospitals. We are now speaking of the government hospitals. We are getting lizards. We are getting uh, soon, soon, soon we will get the robotic uh, robots. We will get it. And many uh, refinement of instruments we are getting it. There's no, uh, no problem of this. But one thing, uh, it's still, uh, it's dark in the periphery, you know, because the periphery is not solvent enough to get these uh, improved instruments. And still we have to uh, uh, stay over these uh, previous operations like open prostatectomy and just I mentioned before. We still do, the, we still do these open operations still now. 
Now, because laparoscopy and robotic has taken into place, we are where we get these operations in the corporate level, but in the peripheral level, we still do these open operations. Great. I am also very sure that India will reach heights. Oh. Also, thank you so much for coming. It was a lovely session, and it was great to have to be here with you.